Hey guys, today I'm going to be doing an unboxing video. Um, I'm always online shopping, so hopefully this will be the first of many. So today I received two parcels. I always get really excited when um, I receive parcels. I love unwrapping them. So that's why I'm doing this video. So it's a bit curious that I received two today because I was only expecting one. Um, they're both from Estee Lauder, so I guess it's a bit of an Estee Lauder hoard as well. Um, so... I guess the possibility for the second parcel is either it's the shopping I did yesterday that's arrived very quickly or I don't know, I guess we'll find out. So I'm going to start off with um, I'm gonna start with the heavier one first, so that's this one. So where are my scissors? It's kind of coming loose. Yeah. Alright. When you first unwrap it, looks like this. So there is a breast cancer pamphlet in there. Oh, it's got a breast cancer badge. Just stick that on. There you go. Oh, it's upside down. Oh no. It's kind of, yep, yeah, there you go. So it's a breast cancer pamphlet. Alright, so it looks like this. Oh, that looks like this. Someone is filming. Oh, so annoying. Guess who that is? That is customer service for um for Australia Post. Um, that's probably because one of my parcels arrived a little late. The other arrived early, so I'm. Kind of annoying that now they're calling me during um, this video. Anyway, back on track. So, um, oh wow, so this is the one I got yesterday. And um, all this stuff that's inside there, that's um, part of this $70 gift with offer. So you spend $70 and um, you get this makeup bag with it. So um, I'll start off with... I'll start off with this one. So this is a gift with offer. You always also get two free samples um, with any purchase. Um, I always choose the, you know, the perfume because a lot of them are anti-aging and things, so I don't need that. Or BB creams, and I don't use those, so um, I always get the perfumes, which are cute to put in your handbag. Down there. Oh, so I've like four of them now. There you go. So they're part of the Muse collection. So the bag says Open Ceremony, which might be a new range for Estee Water. I don't know. So everything comes in a plastic bag like that, Estee Water. So this is curious. I'm going to start with this because when I saw it online, I wasn't sure. You couldn't tell that it was flat. So I thought maybe I got... I thought this was actually a mascara, and I'm not sure what I thought that was. But it's flat. And oh, wow. Inside, look at that. It's raised. So that's actually a concealer. Well, that slipped out. This is an advanced night cream. It looks like it comes in a tablet form, which is really cool. And these are different forms of concealer. So I guess it's all about um, around your eyes type thing. So that's... I don't really use concealer for the same reason I don't wear um, BB cream and stuff. My skin's so sensitive that any type of makeup or foundation and things... I don't like to use it. But if I ever do use it, it must mean that it's incredible because um, cause I don't use it lightly. It never sits on my face right and it always just clogs up my pores and you can feel it on your skin, which I really hate. So that's why I don't use concealer or um, foundation or BB cream. So the next thing I got is this um, Estee Lauder Perfectly Clean. And I'm really, um, I actually forgot about getting this one. And when I bought, which I'll show you this, um, I was going to buy this one instead of this. So lucky I, I got this one for free and I bought the other one. So it will be good to try that out. So that's like a cleanser. And it's one of their more popular products. So that will be great to try out. Um, the next thing, what's in here? Oh, I know what this is. I have an obsession with tiny perfumes, which kind of why I like these two so much. But look at how gorgeous this one is. So I'll put that in my collection. I might do another video on my tiny perfume collection. That will fit really nicely. It's so cute. It's a mini version. 
So that's that one. They will come individually wrapped. This one. Oh, this is Estee Lauder Revitalizing Supreme. So this is an anti-aging cream. And um, sometimes in winter when it's really dry, I actually don't mind using an anti-aging cream. Not because, you know, I've got old skin yet. I'm still quite young. But um, just because it's like as a moisturizer, it doesn't seem to give me pimples or anything. So I'll probably use that as well. With this. And this is a advanced night repair. So I'm... Um, the one I got in here was for the eyes, so I'm guessing this one is for the whole face. So that will be interesting to use. And the lipstick. What colour? So this lipstick is Candy Shimmer, which is actually a really perfect colour for me because I kind of like it natural but pink, like not too bright. So that's perfect. That's really perfect colour. Awesome. And then obviously the bag as well. Alright, so now on to what I actually bought. So the first thing was this um, Clear Difference Oil Mattifying Hydrating Gel. So basically Clear Difference um, is a type of, I guess, acne prevention um, range from Estee Lauder, which is quite interesting because most of their stuff is more focused towards um, more mature ladies, so um, anti-aging and things. So I was quite excited to see this one. And the fact that it says hydrating and it's also part of an acne um, type, not acne, but you know, a clear skin range, um, kind of piqued my interest because I have combination skin. So I just need something that will be, get rid of the pimples, but also not dry my skin out because it's difficult. Combination skin's not fun. So, oh wow, this is what it looks like inside. It's really pretty packaging as well. I'm a sucker for packaging. So that's what it looks like. It's got the nice gold at the top. So that's actually really pretty. It's a bit impractical for taking like around places. I always like tubes. A bit smaller, but it's, it's nice packaging, so who cares. So I'm excited to try that one out. And I, I might write up what I thought of it when I try it out. So yeah, let you know how that goes. I think it's kind of like a cleanser. I don't think it's a moisturizer. I think it's more of like a cleanser cream. Um, the next thing I got was, um, as I mentioned before, I don't wear foundation. Sometimes I wear blush, but like mainly what I do is around my eyes. So I'll do my eyebrows, um, eyeliner, mascara and stuff. So I splurge, oh, I splurge, splurge a little bit um, when I buy these things because I don't spend a lot of money on makeup. So. So this is a eyebrow pencil or crayon. Um, it's a brow duo. So it's got a brush like this, which is quite interesting because usually I have a brush with like bristles in it. So um, that sharp edge it almost looks like an eyeshadow brush. So that will be interesting to try out. The other end to it, and this is quite, I found this quite, um, I haven't seen this before, is that Obviously, it's like a crayon, um, it's light brown, but it has, um, it's refillable. So that's what this is, a refill. So that for $40, that's pretty good if you get a refill. Um, I used to I used to use, uh, what's it called, Hourglass from Mecca. So the Hourglass, uh, I think it was in Dirty Blonde, their eye pencil. So this is... Um, this will be a new one. So I'm hoping it lasts a bit longer because I go through them very quickly. It's got a refill, so that's perfect. There. So that's it from this box. So now, onto the next box. So here, so we already, I already know what this one is because this is the one I was expecting today. Where did my scissors go? I got them. So this is part of the Erin. Um, collection which is exciting because um that's kind of how I came to buying Estee Lauder stuff. I actually wanted the perfume which is the only thing I haven't got but it's pretty expensive so I'm just going to wait a little bit and I have so much perfume at the moment that it's ridiculous so I couldn't bring myself to buy it yet but it is really nice so if you are I think um Evening Rose is one I like the most so again it's got the um 
the breast cancer pamphlet in there. Oh wow, look at this. So this one I got gift wrap. So if you're ever wondering what Estee Lauder gift wrap looks like, this is what it's like, a little box. It's so, I actually really like it, it's very cute. So that was I think extra $6. I'll go through the price of things at the end maybe if I haven't already. So that's what it looks like inside. And then open it up. So again, more of these, I told you that's the thing I like to get. So I have lots of them. And this was also a free sample, so that's Advanced Night Repair. So I already got that, so I've got two of them. So we're doubling up here. Maybe my mum will get an early Christmas present. I'm just going to leave them. But this is the one that started it all. So this is the Erin Rose Lip Conditioner. I just love the packaging. That's kind of what drew me in, that pastel pink packaging. It's really, it's not very focused. So there you go. And it's really cute. The actual lip balm itself is really cute as well. So that's what it looks like on the inside. So how? Oh, it's upside down. So that's what it looks like. And I'll just see if I can like kind of show you. Just watch. Should do it. So that's the colour. So it's actually quite pink. That's really cute as well. Yeah, that's actually really nice. It smells nice as well. You know what it smells like? It smells like black pastry, um, black star pastry. That is a patisserie shop. I have one in. They definitely have one in Newtown, and they have some in other areas. But they have a watermelon cake, and that's what this smells like. It's making me really hungry. I just want to eat my lips off. That's good. So black star pastry, that's what this one smells like, even though it's rose. I think it's a rose water cake, so there you go. So that's my haul of Estee Lauder and my unboxing done. Oh, everything's falling off. So it's quite good value. I think all up it was probably around, well, 109 for the first box, including the $70 gift. Or well, it was $70 I spent over $70 so I received it and the next one was $50 so I'm really bad at maths but that's easy. $159 all up for all of this which is pretty good. Um, I'll quickly go through the prices roughly just so you know. Um, so this one I think was like 50 something. This one was 40 something. I don't know the exact prices. I know this one was like I think 48 which is very expensive for a lip gloss, um, but it was so pretty that it was worth it. So that these are these three things are the only things I actually bought. So the rest is just free stuff. So that's why I love Estee Lauder. <laughs> so there we go. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, if you have any questions, just um, send me an email at ruby at merlinblue.com or just comment. Um, yeah, so hopefully there will be more of these videos. See ya.